Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, and Realtree. So 120 pound draw weight. Um, we're shooting 100 yards and bullseye every time, so that's good. Um, every time I get done hunting, I'll shoot two or three arrows just to make sure nothing happened, nothing dinged my sights, just like a gun. Uh, occasionally I've dinged my scope and you just want to check up on again, so that's what we're doing. And there's, there's a big buck that I want to hunt that for me, um, a lot of times it's came down to, to uh, slowing down and making the good shot. And, uh, how many bucks in my past haunt me to today that, you know, I rushed a shot or um, just pushed things a little too, not so it wasn't right and shot right over them, shot right under them. And really the opportunity isn't generally what gets me. Um, well, for sure when I was growing up, it wasn't necessarily the opportunity. It was making the shot and not uh, calming, not freaking out and shooting over it or under it or not doing something right. So right now it's just making sure I'm confident in my bow and then when the deer walks up, hopefully calming myself down and slowing myself down so I make a really good shot on it. She had 100 yard shot, bullseye. Maybe not 100 yards, maybe it's 20. So my stand is right there to be very precise. And that's what's nice about these maps is they're very detailed so I can tell you it's basically right there and we're gonna cut that so it goes right over that pond Jared is making me stare into the Sun uh, and I probably will burn my eyes out and I'm not going to be able to shoot after this, but so October, I generally do not hunt this hard in October. This is probably the hardest I've ever hunted in October in 25 years. And it's simply because it's so cold. So these temperatures have stayed very, very low. Uh, we've had a couple freezes overnight. We had snow yesterday and um, the barometric pressure has been really high. So every time we get that, I'll just pick a spot that I know there's some mature bucks living on and this is and, and the wind's correct. So this is one where we could slip in pretty easy. We don't do a lot of damage by hunting it. It's a cold October day and I figure any cold October day I can get out and hunt without um, over pressure in the spot, I'm gonna do it. So right here, we just popped into an easy spot to get into. Uh, there's a couple mature bucks in the area. Um, basically being October with them not traveling a whole lot, it's just a matter of doing this a whole bunch of times and maybe getting lucky and maybe getting one within range. Um, the expectations are that we'll probably be hunting well into November, but it is cold and it's October and the conditions are perfect. So you never know. And that's kind of my feeling tonight is I'm rolling the dice and it's a long shot, but you never know. So we'll see what happens. couple of does moving and um, right now is when I'd say in the next 20-30 minutes if I have to guess when things start picking up it'd be right about now so um, some good sign that some does are moving and I'm watching back to the southwest but I'm not keeping even behind me out of the, out of the question so hopefully it gets good real fast here and we see something mature on its feet
So I know the daily uh, video blogs are meant to be, show the good, bad, and otherwise I'd call it the good, bad, or the slow, and today was definitely just a slow day. Um, it feels like November, so the expectations going into the stand kind of give you that feeling like you're going to see big bucks running all over the place, and I know that's not what, what I'm going to uh, see, and it's definitely not what I saw tonight. So I definitely thought I'd see some older class deer than I did tonight. It was cold, the conditions were perfect, and... It's just one of those days where you just leave going, huh, that was slow, what are you, you going to do? Nothing. And I, I know it'll pick back up. Um, you know, the encouraging part is, is you think just two weeks ahead from now, uh, I do know I'm going to walk into the stand and have those days where the action is going to be phenomenal. Um, until then, uh, I'm going to keep plug, plugging away, popping into the stands when the conditions are right. Um, it's definitely a roll of the dice trying to get a a day in October to cooperate for you. I've had them cooperate in the past and, and shot some mature bucks on the cold October days, so I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it, but I would just chalk today up as uh, really high expectations and it was just a slow day, and that's part of hunting, so we'll get right back after it when it's cold again.